Okay, so first we need to know what a forestry technician is. A forestry technician provides support to forest research. They provide education, advice, and recommendations to woodlot owners. They conduct and supervise forestry, inventory cruises, surveys, and field measurements. Basically, they help them provide education and advice to people interested in work on deforestation and other forest procedures. They can work in woodland areas and frequently work for state and national park agencies, campsites, environmental groups, timber industries, and consulting firms. At minimum, one to two years of training is necessary to become a forestry technician. Many junior and community colleges offer two-year associate degrees programs in forestry technology. A four-year university education can also provide the necessary training. So now that we know what a forestry technician is and what they do, we should probably know the physical and mental tools that they use. Forestry technicians use tools like prisms, clinometers, and calipers. They also usually need a valid driver's license. They need to know basic forest management techniques like remediations and afforestation. Employers often want them to have GIS experience and knowledge of related tools and database programs. While in high demand in other parts of Canada, currently there is an undetermined job prospect for forestry technicians in Ontario. And while not in high demand, the pay makes up for it and some, making approximately $24.29 per hour. And at a work rate of 8 hours a day, 5 days a week, that's a whopping $194.32 a day and $1,360.24 a week. After a year of non-stop working, they'd make $70,926.08. Okay, so that, that, that's where my script ran out. I'm going to be leaving links for different helpful videos down in the description below, not only for forestry technicians and other forest-related jobs. So if this sounded like something you'd like to do, but you weren't exactly interested in the finer details, uh, there's also other forest jobs that are available that are similar but not the same to a forestry technician. Also, if you're interested in being a forestry technician, obviously a lot of extra research should be done. So make sure to check out the websites that I had at the bottom right corner of the screen, because that's where I got all my information from. And if you want to be a forestry technician, it's probably your best bet. So thanks for watching, guys. This doesn't actually count as one of my weekly uploads since it's for school. But um, uh, see you guys next time. Bye.